Okay, today I'm going to show you how to wire a new end for your ASIC miner or anything related to immersion cooling or anything around the house. So I know how to make my own cord for my fan on my hydraulic oil cooler. Uh, or you might just need to use it for an S19. This is a plug off the S19. Or if you're here from some random part of the internet, you can do this for just about any sort of uh, plug for anything you need to change. It's really quite simple. So what you're going to need for this application, uh, you can see here, 20 amp, 250 volt plug. Make sure it's the right one. You can get these on Amazon. For the sake of this video, this is going to be my S19 cable. You need a pair of wire strippers, Zocto knife, Phillips screwdriver, and a pair of side cutters or linesman pliers, whatever you got kicking around, just something to make a simple cut with. Well, let's get started. Okay, so in my last video, I showed you how to wire from the panel 220 volt receptacles. So to get to your receptacle from your miner to connect it, you're gonna need the proper uh, connection at the receptacle. If you get it from China and you live in North America, you're probably gonna get something that looks like this. Now don't go using funky adapters that they make, it's just not a good practice to follow. Go ahead and put the proper end on. So again, like I said, 250 volt, 20 amp plug-in. You can get these on Amazon. If you have an S19, you'll need two. If you have an Avalon, for example, you'll need one. And if you're just here randomly from some part of the internet, you can basically do this with anything around the house if, that you need a plug on. So it doesn't have to be 250, it can be 110. So yeah, you can go ahead and use this for just about any application. So the first thing we're gonna do, again, pretending that this is my S19 cable that I haven't cut already, we're gonna go ahead, cut this as close to the plug off as possible. So snip that right here, get rid of this, you don't need it anymore. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our X-Acto knife and we're just gonna make a very shallow incision, always pulling away from you so you don't cut your fingers. Okay, so I'm just gonna make about a one inch incision here. And now you can start to see the wires inside of the uh, insulation here. We're gonna go ahead and go a little more than that. And if you're wondering how far you need to go, well, basically, this is the clamp end for the insulation on your wire. And we need to go basically snug right up to the plug end. So here's a rough example. Now you can keep this blue part intact here in the back. It doesn't have to be cut all the way back, just enough that you can work with stripping these wires. So we'll go ahead and go a little bit more. It's easier to work with. Now we got our wires exposed here. Go ahead and cut that off. Okay. Now we've got three wires. For most normal applications, we would code the green one as our ground wire, our black one is our hot wire, and the other white one is our neutral. For 250, these are both gonna be hot wires and this is going to be our ground. Go ahead, take our wire strippers and strip just, just a little bit off the end. So just maybe a quarter of an inch off the end. Okay. And this is 14 gauge wire on this. Okay, a little bit of 12 gauge wire, snip it off. All right, so now we got our three wires exposed. Okay, now we can go ahead and set this aside. 
Now we're gonna take our plug in and we're gonna undo this part completely. So you're gonna take your Phillips and there's three screws here. So we're gonna take these out completely. Okay, end comes off, flip it around, and on this side, just back these off a little bit so you just get a little bit of play in here. Next you're gonna do, you can take these wires and you're gonna feed them through from the back to the front. You need to do this, it's easy for me now because I don't have another end on here, but you'll have another end that you can't feed after, so you have to feed this through the back first. Now that I got this through the back, I'm gonna flip this end around and show you the color coding. So you can see on your ground prong, it's colored green, your screw. That's where we're gonna connect the green wire. And for this application, it doesn't matter which side, inside of here and inside of here, we're gonna connect a black wire and a white wire. So we just back these off a little bit. And your wire needs to go in here, so sometimes you just need to create a little bit of space because these are a little bit loose in there until you tighten them up. So I just took something a little bit sharp and just opened it up a little bit so you got some space in here. Okay, we're gonna just give these a little hand twist, make it nice and clean. Do that to all three of them. And you just do that clockwise, quick little twist. All right, now that they're nice and neat, we're gonna go ahead and connect the ground wire first. Okay, so if you can see here, the ground wire is fully seated in the bottom, but I got a little tiny bit of wire exposed at the top there, and I'm just a little bit of a perfectionist. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just trim these down just a tiny little bit, because I just wanna cover as much of that wire as possible. I'm just gonna take a tiny little bit off these. These are getting kind of dull. Okay. Clean those up again. Okay, so again, we're gonna connect the green wire through here. Now you can see this is fully seated and the insulation butts up right to the end of the uh, connection. So I like that a lot better. You don't want this insulation inside of the connection. That's what you don't want, but you just want it butting up to it. Because if you get it inside the connection, you might not have proper contact in there. Once that's seated, seated in there, like so, we're gonna go ahead Turn this screw clockwise and tighten it up. And don't be afraid to tighten it down nice and tight. We don't want these coming out. Okay, next one here. We're just gonna pick a side. Black ones just seat a little bit closer. So we're gonna go ahead and put our black wire in here next. Okay, 
So you can see that the black wire is butted up in there nice. Go ahead and tighten that one up. Okay, nice and tight. Give it a little pull test. Those wires are secure, they're not going anywhere. And again, the last one, we're gonna do it with the other hot wire. Okay, snug that up. Now you're gonna have your green connection on your ground screw and your two hot ones nice and snug. Just wanna give you a quick view in case you missed anything with my tight camera work there. All in there nice and secure. Now we're gonna go ahead and seat this again and properly. It can only go in one way. And go ahead and tighten these three screws back up. Okay. Tighten up, nice and secure. Last thing we're gonna do here, these last two screws are gonna hold the wire insulation securely into place here so that doesn't get ripped out. Okay, I now have those tightened down. This wire is firmly pinched into place. You have yourself a brand new S19 cable that's compatible with the North American receptacle. Go ahead and plug it in.